man, there's still drama revolving around DeMar Carroll. Like, he's, he's been traded to Brooklyn Nets, but he's still in the conversation because he won't stop talking. I know Mr. Marky Mark has some stuff to say, maybe Nelson as well. But in recent interview with uh, Paul, Paul Pierce, Steven Jackson, um, there has been some talks about DeMar Carroll talking some more smack about Toronto Raptors after he left for Brooklyn Nets. Talking about the ISO ball that DeMar and Kyle Lowry are always heavy on. And also that um, the Raptors weren't really trustworthy uh, during the end of the season. Mark, what do you think about that? Uh, well, like you, I, I do think that he has a point in terms of the way they played. Uh, it, it, I guess like he, has, he had expectation when he signed with the team, right? Mm-hmm. The team, uh, the expectation was that this was going to be a, uh, a, a, a spread, spread the court have, you know, ball movement kind of in a sense, focus on the three ball kind of. This is what he, he thrived on when he was in Atlanta. That's why he was able to get that nice contract from, uh, from the Raptors because <laughs> of the fact that when he played at Atlanta, that was the kind of play that they, uh, that they had. It was, you know, spread out, you know, kind of have, you know, everyone in uh, move, movement of the basketball. That's why Kyle Korver and him uh, thrive on that because he was uh, focused on the three ball. So when he came into the Raptors, that's what he was expecting because that's what was promised to him. So when it all started, it wasn't, it didn't turn out exactly what he was expecting. So he did have a point, but as a player, you know, you, you know your role. If you're, you know, I've always felt like when I play ball, like I rarely talk smack because I don't feel like I'm like that kind of player yeah. that can like, you know, always back everything. But if you're a role player and, and things don't turn out the way you, you know, you expected it to be, what can you do? You're not, the franchise does not depend on you. The franchise does not, need you to get them to over the hump to, or to, to carry them to a, a playoffs or to carry them to a championship. So if you're a role player and it didn't turn out the way you went, don't say anything because... Uh, and he wasn't even... A, like he, he, I know people say he was a role player, but we gave him a starting position as a Toronto Raptor. We yeah. gave him that 60 million contract. We gave him that support for his family and like his friends. And, mm-hmm. and like gave him a chance to prove him to himself that he can be one of the top... You know, Players in the East. Exactly. So, what, what do you think, Nelson? What do you think about his comments? If you have, if you have things to say to, to, you know, I know you're a big Raptors fan too. If you have mm-hmm. things to say to Damari Carroll after seeing that, what would, would you say exactly? I, don't know. I, I didn't think he was actually going to become this vocal. Yeah. Um, he came from a pass first system team. So, yeah. uh, of course, it's going to be very hard for him to adapt when he comes to a team that's very ISO heavy. Uh, but he should really keep the comments to himself and keep it professional, especially when you're going into a new organization. Uh, it's it's kind of a it looks bad, right? Yeah. And Brooklyn fans are probably wondering why is he doing all this now? Yeah, right. But if you were if you were in the Mark Hill's shoes and you you know you were this is what you were expecting and then things are not turn away, would you have reacted the way that he would have, or would you have said kind of the same thing that he he said during those you know all those comments that he said? I'd, I'd simply just you know thank the fans and organization and you just move on, right? End of the day, it's just business, yeah. so you got to keep it professional. Yeah. yeah. So and moving on. Because Demar Carroll, come on, man, just keep it to yourself, and you're, it's a new situation for you, so be thankful, be happy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be yeah. happy with yourself, <laughs> be happy at Brooklyn Nets uh, that you're still playing. 